until just a decade ago, high-end video was the domain of big, expensive, professional TV cameras. As a lot of photographers see themselves more as image providers than traditional photographers. So using your photography skills for video is bringing you new opportunities. In video clips, traditionally, everything was in focus. The use of smaller image sensors together with the short focal length gave very large depth of field. Unlike the traditional cameraman, photographers use selective focus. They are able to show a high-rise building with little distortion. They choose lenses with beautiful bokeh. All these photography skills can be used in video in a beautiful way. For instance, this interview with a Dutch carpenter shows very little depth of field. The shallow depth of field isolates the man from the surroundings. Even more, the plane of focus was tilted, so the eyes are the only focused part in this shot. That's one thing that's sure. And that's why I've also done in the restauration training to be able to make the old work again, but also be able to make it and be able to make it. Ja, bomen zagen doen we met kettingzagen natuurlijk tegenwoordig. Dat doen we niet meer met de bel, maar de rest het bewerken, met pen en gatverbinding maken en een mooie deuvelverbinding of wat dan ook, ja, dat kan allemaal nog prima met de hand. Dat zijn wel mooie dingen om zeker met de hand te maken. Dat is het ambachtelijke werk. Dat is het ambachtelijke werk. In de studio it can be used as well. These machine parts are not the most inspiring items to make a product video about. By shooting them like a skyline, they look grand. Combining that with a small movement of the rear panel gives a feeling of motion to the image, like driving past a city at night. The colors resemble the evening sky and helps to make it an interesting clip. This was the final episode of the view camera movement. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about the use of view cameras, camera movements, lenses and so on, you should join our Facebook group. Maybe there are people willing to help you out. You can find this Facebook group at this address. Also the makers of this series are regular visitors to the group. We hope this video series helped you on your way to using a view camera. So get moving, be a part of the movement, the view camera movement. Mm -hmm.